In this video, we'll take a look at creating and using a schema file. The schema files are definition files that hold the database tables and columns. The schema file contains the column data types, validation rules, form item types, all the information about the database structure. They're used at compile time and are required to compile a Genero program. Here I've just logged into a server and I can use the FGL DBSCH utility to create a schema file from an existing database. So looking at the flag options that I have, I'll use the dash DB option and the store 7 database name and that returns a store7.sch file. Now that file will be used for compiling the programs working with the store7 database. And here if we open it, we can just see it's a uh, file with some information about those uh, system tables as well as the database tables and columns. Now I can also set an environment variable, fgldbpath, to point to all the schema files that I might need access to. And Genero will look there. Here we don't have it set. We're using the schema file from the directory where we are compiling the program. So this is how it's done at the command line. You can also do this within the Genero Studio product. And we'll look at that next. Now here we are in the Genero Studio product. And you'll see I have a tool called the Database Browser where I can look at both the database connections that are available as well as the schemas. And as if I look at a schema that's been imported or built in Studio, again, it's just the tables and columns and their information. Now I can create a new schema directly from Studio, and if I choose New Schema, I can uh, simply enter the information into a wizard style uh, dialog here. I can also go to the menu at the top under database and choose new schema or import an existing .sch file as we saw created in the command line. I could import an existing schema file. Once the schema file is available to the program that's being compiled, the compilation can take place.